mainly just because they're easier and they are um, a lot less toxic things that you have to use and they dry really quickly but um, I love oils how you can move them but they take so long to dry <laughs> you've got to use a lot of um, yeah toxic substances to uh, clean your brushes so have less of an impact on um, the environment whatever I use so I just try and use small quantities um, and yeah less toxic variants I, I like to use um, I, I love using um, graphites I like using um, pastels but I haven't done a lot of pastel work so far um, I like even using pencils and you know like your watercolor pencils things like that and using pen in with your paints that's always good to add detail. Uh, alcohol inks, another thing that's pretty cool to use. Uh, this is just a little project for a friend. Um, it's just gonna be like a, a world tree. Sort of playing around with acrylic paint, but using water as a medium to make it look more watercolorish and a lot more pastel than what I usually do. So yeah. The tree represent, uh, represents my friend, and this is, will be her little little child. But um, I recently did a really big one, about 900 millimeter by 1200, for the Cancer Council, and they're going to use it. Um, so when they have clients come through, they'll be able to use their little thumbprints on the tree and add to it. So it'll be like a memorial piece for all the people that have uh, come through their cancer treatments. So I love. Open vistas, I uh, love sunsets, sunrises. I even like incorporating a few, you know, like your dusk scenes with your stars in it. Um, yeah, probably, I love beach scenes too. Obviously, when I get to get out of them, I'll um, take photos while I'm down the ocean and then I'll bring them back and leave them on my phone and then revisit them later, you know, and try and make something out of them. Yeah, I do love water too. Like it's something I think is beautiful. Anything that's expansive. Yeah, the universe too. I uh, have toyed with uh, painting space, space scenes, or I call them starscapes. Yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, we had a lot of people from Springshaw and even the wider community come over and view it. Um, yeah, it was it was really lovely to get feedback on what people thought about my work it was all very positive so it gave me a bit of confidence to keep going um, yeah knowing that people enjoyed it so I think it was really good for development um, and yeah basically just gaining more confidence to branch out there I would just say go for it just do it uh, I think as artists we are our worst critics and we beat ourselves up and often we compare ourselves to everybody else's work which is our downfall um, i think if you just stay unique and true to what you really love i just say go for it and put yourself out there because you know you will receive really good feedback and make great connections with other people in the art community which is important Australia's got such a beautiful, diverse and unique ecosystem that I know there's just so much inspiration there and it's quite important that we try and conserve as much as we can. I have a little Facebook page, I do have a little YouTube channel I've set up and a online artist portfolio on cravado.com, Natasha Stanton.